Hey everybody, welcome back. We've got a CGC unboxing today. One single book. We haven't had a single book unboxing since this whole channel started when we unboxed Detective Comics 359 First Appearance of Batgirl. This is a major, major key here. So this is a book that we picked up in that collection that we bought for $2,000. Basically two short boxes of books. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. This is a book that I already have and I wanted to get another copy because I just believe in the book so much. Without further ado, let's bust into this. Sent this book Modern Fast Track. Got this book back within 10 days. They, they received it, they graded it the next day, it was shipped out the next day. That's how fast the turnaround time is at CGC for Modern Book Fast Track is right now. now economy tier forget about it i fast tracked books in the beginning of may at the time of this filming we're at two months nothing so with all that said let's bust into this uh this is what the boxes look like when you get like a single box usually i'm used to those larger boxes with it says fragile all over it let's see how they ship this All right, so far so good. Looks like a good bit of bubble wrap. And uh, that's a nice little box too. All right, this is Invincible number one, first print. This book is super hot right now. Actually, I think it's a little bit cool right now, but it's still so hot, this, this show is absolutely fire. I thought this was a pretty high grade. I have a CGC graded 9.6 that I already bought slabbed. I didn't think this was this was that good. My prediction for this was like a 9.4 on a high end 9.6. How'd we do? A 9.2. Invincible number one, Image Comics, January 2003. First full appearance of Invincible and Omni Man. Invincible pinup by Tony Moore. Robert Kirkman story. Corey Walker and Bill Crabtree cover and art. 9.2 white pages. So this book definitely had some issues. Specifically this top left corner, it's blunted. Um, there are multiple spine stress lines on this book that were not able to be pressed out. I can see one that has a very thin color break and then it's just generally up and down the spine. Um, I see another right below the, uh, this, this crack line in this rock uh, where there's another thin uh, stress line. The corners of this book, actually, all four corners of this book have very minor wear. On the back of the book, there is some color rub uh, around the top staple and then on the bottom right hand corner. So this book definitely has a few issues. This book is very difficult to get a uh, 9.8 in. So on the census right now, I think there's less than 400 9.8s. I think it's closer to like 350. Um, this book is very, very difficult to get in that 9.8. I'm super happy with my 9.6. Obviously I'm trying to upgrade, but I'm just not willing to spend the money. So. My CGC graded 9.6 that I bought, I bought that book for $1,500 shipped. Um, that book's worth at least $2,000 now, and I think it's going to be worth even more when the Season 2 drops on Amazon Prime. This 9.2 copy, I'm seeing fair market value range for about $1,300. Um, and then in a 9.4, you're looking at like $1,500. So you can kind of see the escalation. But a 9.8, I've seen them go for like 3,500 to four grand. Uh, the 9.8 is is that is that valuable? Um, this is a great book. If you haven't read Invincible, you need to read Invincible. It's awesome. If you haven't seen the show, it's the best superhero show on TV. It beats The Boys. It beats Disney. Uh, anything on Disney Plus. It is the best show, and it's a cartoon, which. It says something. Guys, what do you think? Um, 
do you think this book deserved a 9.2? I, I'm okay with that. I, I thought it would be a 9.2 or 9.4-ish book. Um, I th I'm okay with that. Guys, how do you think we did? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If at any point in time you like this video, give the thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching and take care.